everybody. I'm doing a 45 minute home and business healing session and this is actually for a business. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals here and then I'm gonna be getting started. Okay, it says, I would like for this session to focus on our new business. I want to infuse it with happy, cheerful energy and hear whatever message it may have for me. I secretly want to know if the building and land that it is on is aware of who we are and how it feels about working with us. Also, there is a large tree on the property that doesn't seem to be doing very well. So if you have time, I would love it if you could connect with this tree to help it feel better. <laughs> okay. Okay, that is so cool. Um, give me just a moment here. I'm just going to absorb all this good stuff in. Okay. I love the energy of this request. It's just so lighthearted. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, this is going to be so fun. Okay, this is okay. So I'm stepping onto the land and um, this is a very cheerful request, but as an energy healer, I, I sponge over to whatever is uh, the vulnerability of the space, okay? <laughs> so there's a challenge here that I'm stepping into and it's literally on my like on my left side. I, I just I feel like my left side is really heavy. Um, my left side is, pulling me in another direction. I, that's what it feels like. I feel like I'm being pulled um, in another direction. And my throat is getting a bit jarred and it's interconnected with my right ear. So I'm just, just going to chill this out because it, I'm just going to relax this down. Wow. There is a, what would be described as secret entryways. And I didn't realize I wasn't quite on your property yet, but there's actually walls, um, energetic walls and secret doorways. And uh, this uh, is creating a feeling of safety and security. You feel, you actually feel and your property expresses this um an energy of safety and security that that is a totally legit thing i'm no longer feeling that tug uh, i'm not feeling that anymore and right now i'm weaving through secret doors and walls this actually isn't a bad thing this isn't a, oftentimes when i come into walls we need to let the walls go but in this case believe it or not these walls are resonating a really a pure loving energy. There's just, just they're walls of pure loving energy, but they're reflective of protected protection of of love and safety. That's already there. It's already there. I didn't do that. That's already there. <laughs> That's really cool. I will say though that um, the walls seem too short for some reason. The, the, like the ceiling, the ceiling needs to go there the, to the sky or something. It feels like the ceiling is too low. I actually feel like I'm in a contained space. And so let me just continue to feel here. All right, we're going to we're going to have to do some re reorganizing of, of some sort. Let me see. I'm going to touch the walls because the walls have consciousness and they are expressing love, like love for you, consciousness of love for you and safety and security. And so I'm going to work with this consciousness and I'm going to show it what I'm noticing here about the ceiling or the roof. Like it feels like it needs to be taller. This is also your secret walls because because you have these these walls, am I t am I touching the walls of your actual property perimeter, 
Or am I touching the walls of your actual property building? And uh, I'm starting to notice that it could be both. It could be one or the other. So all I'm going to do is just say that and then I'm going to continue to connect with this walls consciousness and then say what I'm noticing here about it just feels like the ceiling is too low. Um, there's many little particles in here and they're male and female and they're talking really quickly back and forth about the idea and they're deciding amongst each other if, if it feels like the correct thing to do to make the ceiling higher. And it's undecided. Huh. Do you have a security system? Because this security system is really, really effective. You have a very effective security system. Because I could just reprogram these walls, but I don't feel like it is my place. I feel like the walls are wise as they are, but I want to introduce them to another idea and let them decide, uh, these particles decide how they feel about that idea. But I will say from my heart of hearts, from the depths of my soul and my higher self and spirit guides, the ceiling is too low. <laughs> I can tell you that is a guarantee it needs to be higher. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does say that it needs to be higher. <laughs> okay. I'm going to encourage the particles to just let go of the ceiling. And this might also help that tree you were talking about. Because I, I don't know what it is about the ceiling, but the, the ceiling keeps coming back as a, as a, a frequency issue. And so I'm just going to encourage them to just let go of a ceiling. And they could just, but if they want to be there, just put their walls all, all the way up to, I don't know the infinite universe I, where's the end of the infinite universe so i don't i don't really know where the ceiling is of an infinite universe <laughs> that i just tell them to just you know they can raise their walls up higher if they want let's just see i'm gonna really i'm really gonna feel this out here but that does bring fresh air into the property okay it, fresh air to the land i can tell it the land is breathing better now it was too tight. The That was too tight. And I'm going to actually do one more alteration here on these walls because it's like a semi-permeable membrane. <laughs> this is like some like old recall from a human anatomy class. <laughs> like semi-permeable membrane. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to allow this is the next inspiration because there needs to be more breathability. We need to have room for air to circulate. Okay. So we need to let, let this positive fresh air in and exhale. So there needs to be ability to inhale and exhale from these security walls. Everything is out of pure love. I'm just going to enhance that love a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm impressed actually. I don't run into walls of love. I, I, I think this might be the first one. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm showing the little particles um, the gift of, of air and circulation and breathability. And I tell them that they too deserve to have time to breathe. This enhances the, the wall. <laughs> this is, enhances your security system because you're giving back to even the energies that are protecting your property. I mean, it's all pure love. It's not like a military gate and nobody can come in. It's a going to attract love. And it's going to keep, um, it's, it's going to encourage what is a, the, what could be described as tarnished, um, Let's say you have some customers drive by your place. You have one that wants to rob you and then one that's just having a bad day and then one that has a bad day but just really is, um, you know, positive thinker and one that is like you're going to attract those that are on a certain frequency level. You're going to attract people that are going to be very harmonizing even if they're having a bad day. They, you're going to attract people with good hearts, okay? And because of this wall of pure love, it's 
it's not um it's actually going to make it so people with bad intentions won't even notice you won't even notice your place it, it's incredible because i didn't put this wall here it was placed here i'm running into this wall and it's uh it's incredible <laughs> so So the particles are feeling super refreshed, like spring day. I mean, they're they're really getting fresh air and they're feeling harmonized. They feel great. And it's only raising the vibration of the space. And that does feel like land and actual business property, okay? That feels like both. And I'm starting to be able to tell the difference between what is the land perimeter and what is the building. Oh my gosh, it feels so much better. Just a few little tweaks and it super huge improvement. It was already awesome, but now it's like triple awesome. And I, I feel inclined to go to this tree because there is something special about this tree. The fact that you notice and you care says a lot about you. And the wall notices too. Because the wall is made of pure love and it wants everything that is within the walls to be a reflection of itself. So it emanates love in order to feed and nurture everything with, contained within. So it's sort of like a human being eats really healthy and then the cells uh, be happy, you know? They're like super happy cells. <laughs> so um, it's like the body is your land and property is inside the walls that are being fed with more positive energy. And now it's influencing the cells, which is the tree and other plants and the building and what's within it um, are feeling more positive, okay? <laughs> so this tree is important and it's important to the wall. The wall is saying that. Okay. Um, when I'm... Oh, man. Okay, this is another weird thing happening here. I don't know why, but the it's ha that weird left side thing is happening. And I just feel kind of like I'm being pulled in another direction. I don't know, like my, my view is looking over there for some reason. Um, like my head though is kind of heavy. It's like kind of like getting heavier down. And I feel a bit startled and my head is a bit jumbly as well. And I feel disoriented. And this is just me looking at the energy of the tree, okay? Okay. What is all of this? Okay. There's a heart issues. This is this is just the way that the energy is showing me pictures. So I'm looking at the image of the tree and I, I see a really dried out wood that's chunked off. And then I feel the weird pulling on the left side of me. I feel jumpy and uh, lots of hoppiness, vibrational. And then my heart feels overwhelmed. So I'm just going to slow all these vibes down. There's a lot of... Th this tree has seen some things, okay? <laughs> because it's showing me also other images of... Uh, what could be anxieties? Like the tree has experienced anxieties. This is seriously it. And I can hear what is the sharpening of a knife or the sharpening of a blade of some kind. A sharpening of an axe, I don't know. But I can hear a sharpening of some sort of sharp object. And I feel anxiety about it. I feel anxiety about it. And I feel like it keeps cutting my palms. It keeps hurting my palms. Okay. There's a lot going on with this. All right. I'm going to just keep relaxing this energy because it's really all over the place here. Mm 
Man, it just, it just keeps like pouring out um, energies. So we're having a conversation. My human mind has, has to process what a tree feels like. So then it comes up with images that I can relate to and um, the images and feelings that I can relate to in order to comprehend the balance of the tree, okay? And it's still pouring out a lot of um, what I would define as anxiety, okay? It's still pouring it out like it's gotten deep into the roots of the tree. And anxiety has, and it, the anxiety is not just in the depths of the roots, but it's also sort of like in the mind of the tree, in the heart of the tree, and the tree is uh, having a hard time uh, being strong enough to hold itself upright. And the tree is like a, it's like it's a, it's a we have a worry wart or something because it's like, I'm going to fall over. I can't stand up anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to fall over. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like this. It's like, you're going to be okay <laughs> so i'm just still calming it down it's just like it's higher and higher and higher and higher pitched more anxiety oh my god so we're just gonna continue to calm it down the 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 fence here the the safety wall loves everything within your landscape um within your building is purely pure love okay and it actually is such pure love that it has had concern about this tree. <laughs> it's so interesting. So I'm just going to calm this down some more. Man, my heart is really hurting a lot. My head hurts. I've got a headache now. But it is relaxing, okay? It is relaxing. I've almost gotten the tree to come into a state of stability and a peaceful breathing. It feels like it is going to die. It, it just does. It's sort of like, let's say that you were cho being choked. And uh, how would you feel knowing that you can't get air in and you're going to die? You would feel hysterical as well. And you would be freaking out and full of anxiety into your roots. And, you know, it would be like that. And you would feel that way until something shifted. And then you pass out or whatever happens, obviously. You just, But you would let go then of uh, the survival mechanism. So this tree is, it's, it's like this, okay? It's like it's been choking. And it's been trying to get the air to breathe because it doesn't want to die. That's, that's literally what it's like. It, it doesn't believe that it will, it, it really doesn't, it, it doesn't believe that it's going to live much longer. It, it shows me this. I asked the tree, what can I do to help you feel better? Help you cope? What can I do to help you feel more connected with all the other trees? Because I know you're all connected. Maybe I just need to bring then those frequencies of, uh, of a collectiveness in order to help you balance these energies. The, the tree is so relaxing substantially. And I'm, I'm connecting the tree's roots to all the other plants, okay? But I'm also growing the roots, like, extremely, like, far and wide. <laughs> um, the energy roots, so it can receive nurture and nourishment from even trees that are in forests that are miles away, okay? So that way the tree is, its hands are being held by other trees. Its hands are being held by Mother Earth because it needs support. It feels alone. It feels uh, it feels that way, okay? And it's loud. It's a loud frequency on your property. It's a. It's really um, almost instantaneously. The tree is too, almost relaxed here. Almost like super peaceful. <sighs> 
but it tells me that it, something is not right with it and it shows me the inside and it um, something rot um, how do I want to describe this I mean it's it's like take the take the bottom part of your body and then put some some sort of a goopy liquid and then let it rot the inside of you and just like stick that up where you go to the bathroom <laughs> like stick that up in there okay and it's a uh, connected to the sexual body connected to the joy and pleasure of being a tree um so it's got the something wrong with it there And it feels like a weird rot, rot feeling. And the rot, um, it, it, it needs to be fed too, right? So it's um, pulling the nutrients from the tree into itself in order to do its rot thing. <laughs> so now we can understand why the tree feels like it is suffocating. I'm actually going to ask the tree if it if it's ready to transition or because it may be it may maybe we can actually bring peace to this and it would be okay to you know you could feel okay to remove the tree but let's just see okay i mean it's it's a, actually in a pretty it's pretty extreme state but let me see Ask the tree, if, I say your your hands, your roots are being held by many roots. And Mother Earth is here with you and Father Sky in all sacred directions. And my hand is upon your heart. My hand is within your mind and my hand is also within the defilement of your sexual body is how I, I'm sharing the feelings back with the tree that I'm, I relate to this challenge. And I ask the tree if it feels like it would like to uh, continue to experience life here, um, or if it would like, if it feels ready to transition. tree is not a quitter and it's not going to just it literally doesn't it, but it keeps being worried that it's going to fall it's not given up yet kind of thing So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the tree be, but I'm going to put um, what I could only describe as orbs of light and love, and they're full of all the ingredients of nature. The nature knows nature, so I'm just going to place them in the sexual body of the tree, but I'm also going to place it within the heart and the emotions, within the core, within the mind, within the branches, within the roots of the tree, and these are just orbs of pure love. And these orbs are going to help the tree with its own processes and experiences of life. And uh, I'm putting more and more and more of these orbs into the, what I could only put into words as rot, okay? But I don't know how else to define it. But I'm just putting it into that infected place, okay? And I'm just putting lots of it in there to nurture nurture that discomfort so it doesn't feel so difficult let me see if I can uh, get a sponge here to sponge out whatever this is So I'm just doing this right now, which is just, it's just bringing more harmony and balance to the tree. It, it feels uh, far more peaceful in its own mind. I'm just going to let that be what it needs to be. It's a bajillion times better, okay? All right, so let me see here. I'm just going to walk into the inside of the building. Ah, 
You know what's interesting is there's something about nature and your pro your your business, your property. There's something about nature that is uh, like it's a super. It's like fifty percent um, of the importance of your success. <laughs> I'm serious. Um, there's something about your business success. You have this awesome wall that's going to attract really awesome people, no matter what they're going through in life. They they do they do have a different type of heart to them. Okay. No, which is, you know, more open-minded, <laughs> not as bad of intentions. Let's just put it that way. But nature too is a substantial part of the success. Nature is. Nature actually is a big part of the success. I don't even want to say 50%. You, I could say 60 or even 70%. <laughs> it's a big part of the success. And nature is totally aware of you. I do pick up on that. And it's interesting because the plants have ears. Like the, that's kind of, I see a plant with ears, okay? And they, and I hear plants have ears and they're, they're sensory. They hear what your needs are and then they express that because you're a family now. So you, you call this this property your home in a way so they're going to protect your home they love you you're choosing them you're like adopting all these plants um grass and trees and all this as your own family they feel that actually you would be really it would be very wise of you um i don't know what awesome stuff grows where you live but it's different seasonal plants um, to do some beautiful landscaping is gonna skyrocket your business it's screaming this like um i don't know like obviously rose bushes are thorny but they're absolutely beautiful um there's all sorts of different types of flowers different types of trees to really um make it uh bring out a hominess to it, bring out a, an earthiness, um, a holistic feeling to it. There's something about nature and even bringing nature inside too, if that's possible, okay? But they're really showing me for you to really think about how you could uh, enhance the nature around the property because it's going to benefit you substantially. I don't know, it's like a weird advertisement. It says, come to me and heal in nature. It keeps, uh, it's like welcoming hands and pure love. It's wanting to heal people. <sighs> All right, I'm still trying to get into the actual building, but <laughs> nature keeps calling. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can get in here. Okay, so um, just a moment. <laughs> All right, I'm supposed to do something um, still around the building. And what it, they're showing me to plant whatever I want to plant there, even if it doesn't make sense. So um, let's say you live um, in the north where only pine trees grow, you know, like, and I put a palm tree there, like in the energy realms, I can do that. So I can put anything I want, they say. So they want me to create a, a like, a, like a garden of Eden type, like a beautiful, um, refreshing landscape on the energy sides to surround your building. Okay. And it's also showing me I am, I'm, I'm literally planting every single plant I could possibly think of. And I am making it decorative. Um, so it could be like ornamental Chinese garden slash, I don't know, Hawaii. <laughs> but it, it feels good. It feels good to me. It feels very good to me. Slash northern forests. <laughs> it feels great. And slash cactuses. You know, we got to put a little bit of everything here. And I don't, it's actually creating emotion and um, like it's been starving for nurture. Like the ground has been um, starving for love, starving to feel loved and uh, like adored for the land to feel adored. And the tree is also part of that um, starvation for adoration, just 
just um, like to feel thankful for the trees again, but to feel like you have um, somebody that loves you. <laughs> but nature, the nature there is a... Uh, is starving for that love, you can share that love, obviously, and um, is asking for um, more family members, let's just say, more more of a garden to grow. But the on the energy side, I feel all the roots of these plants are soaking up grief from the land, okay? And it ju I just feels like this a smear of ugliness, okay? And rejection or disconnect, it feels like um, it, it 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 wasn't um, wasn't loved on the the on the right level. There's something. There's something. Uh, the more that I'm talking about the land here, and there's something. Um, not full it hasn't come full circle here okay i'm still trying to figure this out it's not like a ghost just walked in and said hello to me but it, there's something um not rec rec fully reconciled and i say what what is it land that doesn't feel right within you i feel like i need to go underground and actually like make a little tunnel down underground and like a little underground like cave or temple or something like there's a little underground temple and it's cool <laughs> because all underground temples should be so cool okay so i'm just gonna make one because i feel like i'm supposed to and then i'm gonna go into it <laughs> and this temple is like uh, like honoring the spirits okay but right now it feels like long forgotten temple so i'm doing that and let's just see how this works let's see how this feels all right it's gonna work um i walk in and there's a star of red light and it's like a jewel and it's a uh, in the center of this oh my gosh there's lots of uh, spirits that are coming through the walls and they're um, coming into this temple with the red star. And they're all like... Um... Is there any history on your land? Like, um... there's just a... It's almost like a magnet. And the magnet is attracting, like, lost spirits or something. I, but they're they're all uh, coming in. It's just, like, absorbing them, attracting them all to come into this temple space. And there's no religion here. It's just pure love, okay? And it's just pure love. It's like heaven, heaven's hands welcoming you home, okay? To Mother God, Father God. Like, however you want to look at it, but it's pure love. Welcoming the spirits home. And there's a lot of grief and confusion amongst them, different ages. Ah, oh, man. I mean, it's like, oh, man, my, um, huge energy shift right there. I'm just going to let it vent and do its thing. I feel sad. My feet are heavy. I feel weary. I feel like I've walked a very long way. I mean, is there a tri like um like it's this is just simply an idea to try to pinpoint what this reminds me of like um you know like the trail of tears um with the native americans that were moved off their land to other parts of the land and so much death had taken place on that very long walk and um it feels like um very weary people and very a very weary walk and uh unable to walk much further kind of thing and the feeling of collapse or feeling of disease as well. 
you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to use this as a tool to help, um, reconcile the spirits that are here. Cause I kind of did like a really cool, like magic temple, but this is like a, I want to make it a little bit different vibe. So it kind of is more suitable, not like an Aztec vibe or, um, you know, I don't know, Egyptian or, but I want to do something, um, more sensible, I suppose, for what we're familiar with t today. And I'm actually just, I, I'm still underground, but I'm clearing the idea that anything is above us. So I'm removing the ceiling of the ground and I'm creating a very large bonfire and I'm bringing in spirits of love and ancestors. Um, and we're going to drum and we're going to sing and um, we're going to welcome the spirits to come in and purify in the fire and the fire then is a gateway home to their um, to their heaven, okay? And it's very warm by the fire and there's a ch there's like a, a chieftain, there's a very special spirit that's, that is coming to me from the group of the weary, okay? There's more that's happened on your land than a recent stuff. Like, there's even older stuff than this. <sighs> he's, uh, he's breathing. And he's pointing at the tree, too, that had felt suffocation as he, um, he too, has. And he's breathing, he says. He has reached, the breath has returned to him. And when he says this, the people, too, um, agree that the breath has returned to them as well. And not all of them are actually, it's not not necessarily Native American, because there's just all, there's other culture here, there's other vibes to it, but it's understood. It the What I'm creating and trying to make um, special for all of them is understood and appreciated. And there's lots of tears. <sighs> lots of tears. And uh, there is a, a collective burden that I see within them and they share it. And um, it comes in a dark spirit actually. And I see the dark spirit is now leaving their collective soul group. And we're talking lots of souls here. Let's just say it is the trail of tears. Let's just say there's not just going to be Native Americans perishing. There's going to be the white folk folk too, you know, because it is just disease and all that stuff happens. Um, but it feels like an intermixing of, of people and um, ways that the world is uh, processed. But there's a dark spirit that is uh, releasing from their collective of souls, playing different roles on different sides. And I see the spirits are now um, just turning to light. There's no faces on them anymore. They're just turning to light. And this is all underneath your building that this is taking place. Just so you know, there's a massive purification fire underneath your place and there's a portal to heaven. <laughs> it's cool. And you have a love wall around it. <laughs> it's cool. Like, I don't even know how this happened, but it's great. <laughs> okay, so. All right, this Native American, um, this chieftain energy, okay, like a leader energy, is uh, telling me that they can't leave just yet for some reason. And I... I just feel inspired to give each one a flower and it has to do with um, when you put people into proper burial um, then you put flowers on it right or you give a gift of some kind there's something about um, proper burial and the soul receiving a gift in that burial experience for the soul to to feel complete 
and um, there was my, there that was um, very common to make sure that people are properly put to rest so that their soul can be free and a proper burial helps the soul into a state of freedom and that is there's something being said here about this and so I give each one a flower and I create um, the idea of land where each and every one has been given a proper burial and placed uh, into the ground okay and that mother earth is going to um, refresh and the the nutrients of their bodies that have um, perished and then allowing the souls to be set free he smiles at me and he feels really proud of me and he's happy now and I uh, all the faces uh, all the souls are showing um, happy faces now <laughs> so that's that's good news <laughs> Um, and I start to see them uh, just kind of turn, kind of blend together, and then just enter into this fire gateway. But they also, some of them, just kind of disappear on their own. This chieftain um, leader is still here, but a lot of this is cleared out. And he tells me that there's yet more. And he's talking to me about how to heal the land, something of this kind. Like he's pointing out different sections of the land that um, that are also feeling whatever the decay that this tree is feeling. There's other sections that are feeling a sensitivity to that energy because the tree is emitting it. And um, he just like points here, there, there. And it just shows up in my psychic vision as just like like a burnt grass or something it just looks kind of like shaded out and he says that he wants to help and um, he has I don't know it's like a seed that he's planting but it's also um, it's like gone through a process of of like a sacred process I mean he's showing me that many spirits work together to create this seed and then he's planting this seed here in this patch of like a darker grass and this is not near where the tree is okay he's just planting it here and he says that when you heal the body he's telling me all right so people come to me and they say um let's just say uh, I have arthritis in my hands so when I do energy work I don't go into their hands I actually go into where where does where is the energy need me and it could be in the mind it could be in the stomach it could be anywhere okay um, so even though this is showing up on the hands there's out of balance energy in other places of the body and he shows me land is like this too that um, even though we have like the tree as um, the arthritis hands, um, there's something of the body that is out of balance over here too that is also affecting the tree. And he's showing me that the, he's planting um, four seeds, so like four corners. And uh, they're all, you know, there's a, a perfect uh, parallel to the seeds and how he's planting them. Ah, and he's uh, planting crystals into the ground too. And he wants you to plant crystals, what would be at um, where the perimeter of your property is. Like there's something about uh, placing crystals down and um, placing them, like actually putting them into the ground, okay? And even he even shows me a special crystal too. And he says, don't, don't think about it having to be like the super precious, most precious stones, um, any crystals, because all crystals are pure love. And so get yourself some pure love crystals, okay? And he shows me a crystal too for the tree. And for all the plants that you, you plant, share a crystal with them. It could be a tiny little rock, it could be a shard, it could be anything you want it to be. 
But that energy is not only going to heal the land, it's going to help the land thrive and it's going to tr continue to attract positive energy. And he tells me that his work, he feels complete with, uh, with his role. And he says that you're going to do great. He says that you're going to do great. And, but he says, no, you're going to do great things. He says, you're going to do great things. And he smiles and he turns to pure white light and he just, it's like his energy disperses into all the plants. Like I see tiny little particles of himself becoming like a part of all the seeds that have ever grown in the land. And he just starts to become a part of the land because his spirit wanted to be set free to return to the earth, to be a part of the land. And he's super happy. It kind of reminds me of Moana, um, the grandma, and uh, she wants to become um, a stingray, and she does, and she becomes this like gorgeous, beautiful, massive, is it, it's like a manta ray, I think, because they're really big, but this is like his spirit wanted to become a part of the earth, and so he is now. And it's like so cool to say that he's a part of your earth, your land. And his spirit is super sweet and kind. It just adds to the energy, the positive energy. Mm. Mm. That's all I can share for this. <laughs> so awesome. Thank you for exploring this session with me. Hmm, I'm a little bit out of it here. <laughs> so give me a chance to come back to my senses. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much again. Uh, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, thank you, and I hope you all have a great day.